Hi everybody, my name is Raymond Navarra and I'm the owner operator of East End Assemblies. And what I'd like to do here is maybe once a week or so is show you some of the tricks of the trade that I've learned over the last 40 years. And some of my people here at East End Assemblies will be showing you some of the tricks that they've learned. And what I've got here this week is really, you know, a very, very simple one. That is a problem that we face all the time in, um, in our industry. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to turn on this little board heater here, so the board can heat up while I talk to you. And this is a, a Heiko 853 board heater, and I've got it set to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and basically, the issue that we're running into here is I have a board that's um, an eighth of an inch thick. It's a multi-layer board um, with two ounce copper, and sometimes you have these through hole um, connections that are connected to the ground plane. And if you have to clear the solder out of that hole, it's very, very difficult to do. You could use a solder sucker. You know, sometimes we'll just use straight solder wick. But you can put a lot of stress on the pads, maybe even lift or burn a pad, which is something you definitely don't want to do, especially if it's military. Make sure you're grounded. I always wear static shoes, and I have a static strap on. My buddy, uh, John Smith, uh, designed this board from J.G. Smith Associates. Um, he does great work, military commercial. Everything that I, I work with here is from uh, QSource in Bohemia, Diane Superior, you know, uh, gets me all my equipment. With that, let's get started. So I've, I've got a hole here, you know, that's a problem to clear. I've got some number two solder wick. I like to use some water-soluble flux. I have a JBC iron here, and I have it set to about 800 degrees Fahrenheit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some flux onto this hole that you know, I know it's going to be hard to clear. And this is the most important part. I have a piece of bus wire. And you want to make sure that the bus wire is just a little bit smaller than the size of the hole. And you can see if I put it into one of these other holes, it comes up and down nice and easy. You don't want it to be too small. You want it to be just a little bit smaller than the size of the hole. And, okay, so I take my iron. I clean it over here in my JBC tip cleaner. I put the... Uh, the wire down. Make sure you have plenty of light. You always want to make sure you have plenty of light. Right there. I take the iron, okay, and I put it right into the corner. Make sure there's plenty of solder there. And I push the wire down about, you know, about an inch, maybe a little bit more. Make sure you have plenty of solder there. Um, you can add flux. If, you, if you've got one that's like really hard and, and it's going to take a lot of heat, you can always add a little more solder, okay? Then you take your wick, you take some solder wick, make sure you have a nice clean tip, and put it right, you're gonna put it right up against into the corner, okay? Take your iron, put your iron into the corner, give it about a second, and pull the wire straight up. You can see the solder float up the solder wick, and the hole now is completely clear. Put no stress on the pads at all, and you're done. And when you're set up, that'll take 15 seconds. Shut your heater off. You know, you want to make sure that you don't overheat the board. And if you want to, you know, you can get yourself some thermal couplers and run it to a thermal coupler um, reader so you can see what the temperature of your board is. You really don't want the temperature of your board to get hotter than like 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, that's, it for, that's it for this week. So uh, I'll see you guys next week.